Hello all. Welcome to our new video, on Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, commonly known as PCI DSS. Let's get started. The Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, is an information security standard for organizations, that handle branded credit cards from the major card schemes. It is a set of security standards, designed to ensure that all companies that accept, process, store or transmit credit card information, maintain a secure environment. The PCI standard is mandated by the card brands, and administered by the Payment Card Industry Security Standards Council. The standard was created to increase controls around cardholder data, to reduce credit card fraud. The validation of compliance is performed annually, either by an external qualified security assessor, commonly known as QSA, or by a firm-specific internal security assessor, known as ISA, that creates a report on compliance for organizations, handling large volumes of transactions, or by self-assessment questionnaire, for companies handling smaller volumes. Let's understand a few important terms. A qualified security assessor is an individual, bearing a certificate, that has been provided by the PCI Security Standards Council. This certified person can audit merchants for PCI DSS compliance. Next, an internal security assessor is an individual, who has earned a certificate from the PCI Security Standards Company for their sponsoring organization. This certified person has the ability to perform PCI self-assessments for their organization. A report on compliance, is a form that has to be filled by all Level 1 visa merchants, undergoing a PCI DSS audit. The ROC form is used to verify, that the merchant being audited is compliant with the PCI DSS standard. Next, the PCI DSS self-assessment questionnaires are validation tools intended to assist merchants and service providers report the results of their PCI DSS self-assessment. It is a set of questionnaires documents, that merchants are required to complete every year, and submit to their transaction bank. So, let's understand to whom does the PCI DSS apply? The PCI DSS applies to any organization, regardless of size or number of transactions. That accepts transmits or stores any cardholder data. Even if you only accept credit cards over the phone, PCI DSS applies to you. It also applies to organizations using third-party processors. Moving on, let's understand what do we mean by cardholder data. The PCI Security Standards Council defines cardholder data as the full primary account number or the full PAN along with any of the following elements. Cardholder name, expiration date, service code, sensitive authentication data, which must also be protected, includes full magnetic stripe data and more. So, what are the penalties for non compliance? The payment brands may, at their discretion, fine an acquiring bank US $5,000 to US $100,000 per month for PCI compliance violations. The banks will most likely pass this fine along until it eventually hits the merchant. Furthermore, the bank will also most likely either terminate your relationship or increase transaction fees. Penalties are not openly discussed nor widely publicized, but they can be catastrophic to a small business. It is important to be familiar with your merchant account agreement, which should outline your exposure. I hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.